previously on Caretaker Series. If you want to buy anything, go and meet Mimi. She's the only person permitted to leave this compound. I am moved. I said I want to be the next GMC. That's why I'm doing all these things. Eh? Me, for me, I'm not interested. Carlos, what I'm saying is that at least go back to the compound. Eh? Let me also go back to the compound and let us uh, start this. Let, let us start this uh, uh, um, series from beginning. Let's what? start from beginning. If I go back to the compound, I will kill you. You don't know the big things in this life. You don't pay with cash, you pay in kind. This particular one, I paid in kind. From now on, thought, K Brown is now my two IC. Ah, no, 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 I said shut up! K Brown, take him to the toilet. He put in a bestead in the toilet. What is your next move? See, the next move now eh, is to make sure that I dethrone the GOC. Yes, because the throwing now is very important for us. Hold on, Kibran. You know it is not easy. This can have knife. There is no way we can dethrone him. This can have knife. Don't worry, I'm going to plan something. But you need to help me. I come no come out here. I want to be part of it, please. Take me out. You can do that alone. No, I cannot be to do this in alone, man. Eh? This is for our benefit. Help me, so I can do it. Where are you going? Stop that nonsense. What if I help you? No, no, tell me what if I help you? The last time I help you, the little. Hey. Hey. Aha. Eh, Ibiri, you know you are the only person I like in this compound. Um, I want you to be able to leave this compound, so I'm giving you this privilege. You leave the compound, go and buy what you want to buy anytime you want, but you have to sneak out so that nobody will know. From this moment, you can leave this compound whenever you want. Yes, yes. You are free to go home and change up. You look... You're free to go, eh? I want to tell you now, today, that you can leave this compound whenever you want. However you want. But you have to sneak up. Don't let anybody know that you're leaving the compound. Note that as you're leaving, my boys are with you. They are watching you. So if you like, you run from there. You're in trouble. Whenever you go, make sure you come back. Eh? But still, you have to sneak out. But this privilege I'm giving to you now is on one condition. You know the way the compound is now, you're my only party. The only person I can trust. Uh, there's something I want you to do for me. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing they are doing one kind, one kind meeting behind my back. I want you to stay there. Be in all their meetings, so you give me first hand information of everything they are planning. I observe that the law and the Mimi they are doing one kind of meeting. I want you to be in that meeting. You tell me what they are talking about, their plan and everything. You understand? I want us to work together. I observe that um, Mimi and Baby they are having some kind of cackles meeting without me. Eh? So I need you to be my eyes and ears. I need to infiltrate those meetings, get the information and give to me. Let us walk hand in hand. I noticed that the law and um, Ibewe, your sister, they are doing some kind of meetings behind my back. So I want you to be my eyes and ears there. I want you to be there in their meeting, to know everything they are doing and let me know. You have my words, that's not a problem. Anything that they are talking about, any meeting, I'll come and tell you. That is what I've always been doing now. Beautiful. If you want to go out, you go out anytime. Whatever you want to do, just do it. If, if that's the only condition that I have to go back and uh, my freedom, of course, <laughs> consider it done. I see that you done. I always knew you to be a good man, <laughs> regardless of your extracurricular activities. There's a touch of a uh, gentleman in you. But Mimi is going out. Leave Mimi alone. See Mimi, Mimi is up to something and I know it. So I'm just leaving now. That's why she has that privilege to go out. So I'll catch her. That thing that she's doing, I'll know. I'm setting her up. Just forget about Mimi. You know you're the best caretaker in this compound. Since you became the caretaker, everybody is now coordinated. Eh? No more misbehaviors, no more fighting, no more nothing. The everywhere is just peaceful. So, you have my back. I always, I'll, anything you want that is within my power, I will always do it. Whether in cash or kind, anyhow you want it, I will always do it. That's good, that's good. Yes. Boss, I'm not comfortable with this uh, landlord issue. Kevin, what are you not comfortable with? Boss, let's eliminate this man and just move on. How many times will I tell you that I don't eliminate people? Look, Kevin, landlord is a good mind and we need to look at the bigger picture. I have told you this thing before. This landlord issue is an opportunity that you are not seeing. Landlord, okay, Kevin, always look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Boss. 
But boss, what if the circle find out that the landlord has been exposed? And you know that the circles are very dangerous. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't mess with them. Kevin, the landlord and his exposure will not be a knowledge <laughs> to the circles. The circles can never find out that the landlord has been exposed. Kevin, I know what I am doing. Kevin, I cannot put us in danger. I know what I am doing. Eh? Allow me. Just follow my lead. Take my instruction. Don't, don't get yourself all worked up. Eh? Then, what do you want to meet the man you want to meet for? Kevin, I am meeting this man for our... Kevin, Kevin, relax. Let us go. Relax. Allow me to take the lead. Relax. This one you are eating, Chin Chin. Did you go out? No, Shabi, I said nobody should go out. I sent Mimi. Eh. Hey. Mm. Okay. Ah, stop out like you're coming from outside. How? I said, I just collected it from Mimi here now. I sent Mimi to buy it for me. And I gave her her fee. You know, she asks for fee now. Oh. Just, no. Oh, my, this kind of thing, they will not allow us to go out from this compound. It's just like we're in bondage. Like we're in prison, Seth. Because I don't understand. It's annoying, no. I, I can imagine my so called boyfriend I brought to this compound is now imprisoning us in our own compound. Oh, wow. It's not just funny at all. It's not funny, it's not funny. Uh -huh. So, what exactly brought you into this place? Hmm, it's a long story. But I'll make it short. Actually, it was a setup. Setup? Yes. One criminal that um, uh, one of our neighbors, our fellow tenant, brought into the compound, set me up. Like, I didn't even see, though I knew he was bad, but in fact, I regret why I didn't. Uh, uh, at least raise an alarm for people to know who he is. And the way he did it, <laughs> uh, it will be very difficult for someone to believe that I'm not guilty. What he actually did was, he kept on stealing things in the compound and he, he and befriending people. So he stole things, stole one of our neighbor's property and, and laid the allegation on me. And the funny thing is that, ah, <laughs> uh, that guy. The way he did it, it was too, he, he, he's too good. He's too good. So I just need to get out of here to go and rectify things. Because now, everybody in that compound now think I'm a thief while I'm actually innocent. I understand. I know what that feels like. Hmm. That's true. What actually brought you here? Well, I am actually in here for something I did not do. You see, um, before I came here, I used to work for a man, a very, very bad man. He's my boss and I'm loyal to him. I served him for so many years. So this fateful day, I was supposed to go and report to him. When I got there, he was having an argument with somebody. And in a flash, before I could know what happened, he shot this person. The next thing I started hearing, um, police siren and I was confused. But because he's my boss, I had to help him. So I assisted him to escape through the window. And then I hid the gun he used to shoot the person. So out of fear, because I know he would kill me if I let the police know he was the one that did it, I had to just own up and I was arrested and brought in here. So I've been here all this while. But why would you do such a thing? Why would you hide the mother weapon from the police? In fact, why didn't you even tell the police he was the one that did it? Listen. You're innocent. Listen. Staying here is better than going out there. Do you know what he would do to me if, if, I, if he finds out that I, I told the police he shot that man? No. I'd rather stay here. This is, like, this is like a fortress for me. I'd rather stay in here than go out. No, it's too dangerous, please. So that is what brought me here. And I am okay and contented of staying in here. That is for you. You are contented in staying in here. Me? My own is just, I, I need to get out of here. Eh? I need to get back to that compound before things get out of hand because I don't, who knows what that guy must have done now? Who knows? 
people by now, he, he, he would have even sold the compound. So I need to leave here to go back to that compound to clear my name and also rectify things. Eh? So you really want to leave here? Yes, that is my major concern. I'm not happy here. Eh? For Christ's sake, I'm innocent. Do you have a lawyer? Ah, that's true. I don't have a lawyer yet. But do you have a lawyer? No, of course, I have a lawyer. Oh, that, that's good. Please, I need to do me a favor. Can you please give me your lawyer's contact? Eh? So that he can be able to help me see how I'm going to uh, work on getting out of here. Okay. I would I would I would talk to him and I will have him talk to you too. He can represent you. You couldn't do that for me. Of course. Oh, thank you so much, Josie. No, no, thank fine. you, Josie. Ah. You are my two wives, so why can't I help you? Oh, thank you very much. Ah. It's okay. I didn't even expect this from you, but <laughs> you're a good person. Zilla! Eh? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Mimi, I'm coming from nowhere. Oh, that shall never end. You're coming from nowhere. What do you mean by that? I saw you enter from the gate right now. Me? Gate? Mimi, the gate was open. I started to close Zilla, it. Zilla, you are lying. You went outside. I will not go out. Me about it. Me, I'm I'm not not you went me outside. Zilla, you stepped out. We were asked not to go out. What is the Care problem? Taker. I was about going outside now, and I saw the Lord coming in from the gate. He went outside. Uh, Kiateka, how, how is that even possible when you put strict measures that nobody should go outside? I discovered the gate was open. I decided to just go and close it. You discovered which gate was open? You are lying. Uh, Mimi. Actually, actually, I think I left the gate open. Yes. Eh. Yes, I did. I did. So, uh, where are you going to? I want to go and buy something oh, outside. Okay, okay. So, you should have left the yes, gate open. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, you have to uh, Go inside. <laughs> Thank you. All right, take care, Mimi. Uh, Dilo, what is all this now? What is all this? I told you, make sure nobody sees you. I was very careful. I was very no, careful. No, you can't be careful and then you're having this argument. See, this should be the very last time. Uh -uh. Thank you. Just make sure nobody sees you and you're, you're, you're arguing. It, it will not happen again. I'll, I'll be better, very careful. Better. In fact, it has been executed. <laughs> Samsina Melike, you have been granted bail. Your lawyer is waiting for you. You are free. Come, come and go. Bill, how? Don't worry. I helped you. <laughs> I have to get your bill. You remember your lawyer that you gave me his number. So I actually discussed with him. Then I now employ the uh, private investigators to investigate that matter and be able to find that mother with the way you hid it. Right now, they're taking it to the lawyer and he presented it in the court. See, you'll be free of all charges. You're a free man. You deserve to work out. Free! Keep it up! And they're not in tune. That's your boss. He has been arrested. Ah! Yes, you have to You have nothing to be afraid of. He, 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 he's the bad man here. You are innocent. You deserve to be outside. Okay, bro, did I tell you I want to go outside? See, forget about it. Whether you want to be in here or not, you told me to be here. Oh, eh? You are innocent, and an innocent man should walk free. I should walk free? Yes. I should walk free. Hey! Hey! Anyamu! 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 Hey, Brown. This is not the end of it. This is not the end of it. Like I could have killed a lot of people. Oh. What is this to me? I can't see. Hey, Brown, what is this to me? You want me to get it blow? Come on, I'm not looking at you. You're talking about that in your mouth. Eh? Oh, you're not talking. Come on, I'm looking at you. You're thinking about that in your mind. Why would I have to blow me? Hey! Come on, let's go. 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 Come on, let's go.
Boss, 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 see, you met a member of the circle. Boss, now the landlord has been exposed, like, boss. Hey, boss. Boss, boss, you want to kill us? Boss, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for this one. I want, I, I'm enjoying my life now, boss. Eh? Kevin, calm boss, down. Boss, what is this Kevin, now? Kevin, calm down. Hey. Eh? Look, the, the circles don't know that a member, uh, uh, one of their members has been exposed. They don't know the landlord has been exposed. Then, then, then boss, what were you discussing with this man? What were you discussing with this man? Eh? I, I simply went there. Um, <laughs> and the reason why I called you is so that um, we can um, talk about the house that you have for sale. I heard that you have a house for sale, that's why I called you. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Okori. I don't have any house for sale. Oh, is it car? Okay, it is car you have for sale. I don't have any car for sale. Okay, it's empty land. <laughs> I heard you have empty land for sale. I don't have any land for sale. Is that why you brought me here? By the way, who gave you my number? No, it, it, I saw your number on the internet. I was looking for a house and, and, and land to buy. And I saw your number on the internet. And that you sell land and you sell a, a, a car. And you sell even empty land. I said, let me call you. What that call that I was, I was calling you? It is for land and, 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 and car. I thought you are the person. All these people, they will just carry through somebody's number that is not even correct and just put it on, on the internet. Eh? Look at how I've called an innocent man now that, 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 that is busy. You're doing something with his life. I, I, now, I, I, let me now call you out here. Eh? I see, I see if there is something uh, 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 that, that... I'm sorry, sir. It's just people, internet people. I don't know how these internet people used to get people's... No oh, God. I, I'm, I'm really very sorry. I'm really very sorry, sir. That was exactly what I discussed with him. Boss. I know what you're planning. <laughs> Kevin, I told you I know what I'm planning. I know what I'm planning. Kevin, give me my phone. This boy have killed me. This boy have killed me! Mark! What have you just done? What have you just done? You met a member of the circle? You have killed me? Hey! Jesus! Do you know what you have done? Do you know the gravity of what you have done, Mark? What wrong did I do to you, Mark? If the circle find out everything about it, I am finished. They will kill me, wipe away my generation, Take possession of all that I've watered in this life to achieve, Mark. Why do you do this? And even your life is also in danger. Landlord, you don't have to panic. I have not done this yet. I only met with that man. I have not done this yet. I just need you to know that I know who to talk to. The circles will very soon be after your life. But you can prevent that. Landlord, your life. It's in your hands now. Because you know that I will talk. You have evidence here. I know who to talk to. So landlord, I will not tell the circles anything. The circles does not need to know that you have been exposed on one condition. Landlord, your life is in your hands now. You decide your fate. If you will allow me to come back to the compound in peace, let us have peace. Let peace reign. Landlord, I told you I don't want to fight again. But if you want this fight, I will not fight it with you. You will fight it with the circles. I will let the circles know that you have been exposed as a member of the circles, that we now know that there is a, a, a fraternity called the circles. No, Lord, you don't want that. Mark, you won't do that. You won't do that. I don't yes. want you to do that. That don't is what I'm talking Don't expose me, Mark. Don't it. Landlord, I don't know why you're picking too much grammar. Landlord is a very simple thing. Allow me to go back to the compound and I will not expose you. Mark, in that... You will come back to the compound. Very good. Let peace reign. It's better you come back to the compound than exposing me. Please, Mark, don't do that. And I'm ready to cooperate with you. I'm ready to work with you. You have been my loyal caretaker. You have been my loyal caretaker. You have been a nice person. I don't know what led to this, Mark. Come back to the compound. Very good, then. Hey, that is... Landlord. 
Take. Mark, what is this? Now, Lord, this is an agreement that you will not come after my life after I go back to the compound. You have to sign. It is an agreement that you will cooperate with me. I will be needing your help from time to time. You have to sign. Now, Lord, it is not word of mouth. You don't trust me. I don't trust you. Let us have a paperwork. But Mark, I said I will cooperate with you. I know you said you will cooperate with me. But sign. Mark. Now, Lord, the day you come after my life is the day that I will expose you to the circles. The day I ask for something and you don't give me, landlord, I will expose you to the circles. Landlord, even if you kill me, my boys will expose you to the circles. And everything you have in your life will be taken away. Sign. If it's for the safety of me and for the safety of you. Okay, alright. Okay. No problem. I will sign. I'll sign. I'll sign. Very good. <laughs> landlord, landlord. <laughs> my landlord, my landlord. <laughs> I know that you're a man of peace. Eh? I know that you're a man of peace. Look at how you have just uh, uh, signed a peace treaty. Landlord, hug me. Landlord, hug me. You're a man of peace. <laughs> landlord, my man of peace. <laughs> landlord, my landlord. <laughs> my landlord. I know you're a man of peace. <laughs> watching that episode of Ketika series. See you next Friday with another awesome episode. Please do subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed to this channel yet. Subscribe to this channel and make comments. On Wednesday, on, on Monday, we are going to do the uh, Ketika inner room. Don't forget that the Ketika inner room where is where we dissect the last episode, the previous episode. So make your comments so that we can read out your comments. Your comments will go a long way to help us know what and who and who we are going to invite to the Ketika inner room. And then suggest who you want to see in the Ketika inner room on this episode see you next friday and see you, see you on monday and then see you next friday please make sure you're making your comments here